<laughs> Let's start off with a metaphor or a case in which everyone can understand what exactly the situation means. Imagine that I have a cold and at the same time I'm diagnosed with cancer. In this case, I would treat the cold first and get rid of it. At the same time, I would treat my cancer so that I will get better in the future. However, in this case, by treating the cold first, we will prevent the cancer from getting worse so that the cold will not exacerbate the cancer. Now let's put this into terms of reducing poverty and combating climate change. The opposition's points, maybe not all of them, but two of them were, first, that climate change is a real crisis that is affecting our world right now. And number two, climate change will worsen in the future and it is best to take care of it in the status quo. Now let's start systematically start deconstructing the arguments. The first point, climate change is a real crisis. Sure, it's a real crisis, but we see no yields or no results from climate change and nobody, ex some people are still skeptical about exactly what climate change constitutes and whether it is a natural occurrence or phenomenon that occurred because of our excessive carbon use. So, let's look at the other hand. Poverty is a real crisis that is occurring in the world today. We can see this happening in the slums of Bombay, in various countries of Africa, and even the United States, where so-called the most developed nation in the world is fighting poverty at an extreme rate, trying to keep, pull its citizens out of extreme poverty. And they said that climate change will affect the future. Yes, this is indeed correct. The future, this is what we have to emphasize, ladies and gentlemen. The climate change will affect the future. However, poverty is affecting the present. And if we do not do something about the present, we will not have a chance for all the people in the world to experience this future of danger in climate change awareness. And now, they give uh, various examples about how natural disasters are occurring because of climate change. However, is there a correlation between this, ladies and gentlemen? Is El Nino, any, any kind of natural disaster occurring because climate change is occurring in the globe today? For example, they, they stated that the sea levels are rising, islands are falling to the ocean, and people are losing a place to live. But is this naturally caused by climate change, or is this merely a natural occurrence that happens every few thousand years? Before we proceed, I would like the opposition to clarify that. And now going on to the second point, which was climate change will worsen in the future. That is why we must take care of it now. They gave uh, evidence of agricultural uh, developments which will not be able to happen if climate change is allowed to uh, occur. But at the same time, this agriculture is not being provided to the people in poverty, so what use is there? There's no, there's re no clear reason why we should worry about the future if the present cannot be taken care of right now. And he mentioned how agricultural developments are being slowed down by droughts. Is this because of climate change? No. Droughts have occurred over millennia within the history of this globe, and we cannot attribute this to climate change. And I would like to emphasize that poverty is occurring right now, whereas climate change is a long-term goal, as they said. Combating climate change should be relegated to a long-term plan rather than trying to fight this, this status quo. So, and I'll also lastly emphasize that putting it into a priority does not mean that we will relegate it and we will forego fighting climate change. We will merely put it in the background where it can be continued at a slower rate in contrast to fighting or reducing poverty. So this is why the UN should prioritize reducing, climate, uh, reducing poverty in contrast to fighting climate change. Thank you. The second speaker of the proposition has stated it about the metaphor about a cold and a cancer. Now, what 
what the opposition is stating, that the cold and cancer can be attacked at the same time. We see that, that poverty is happening right now. We, we, we thoroughly understand that. And we also see climate change happening at the same time. 